Hi everyone! Welcome to Artsonia's After School Art Club. Today we have a fun art project from Sabina Bolinger, an art teacher from Kansas. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to have your artwork uploaded to your Artsonia gallery. Hey, I'm Sabina Bollinger. I teach K-12 art here in Kansas and I wanted to invite you to come do some art with me. I want to remind you that if any time you feel like you're falling behind, all you need to do is press pause, catch yourself back up, and hit play and I'll be back here with you again. Let's go do some art. For this project, we're going to draw and color a camouflage leopard frog. You're gonna, the supplies you're gonna need are going to be some colored pencils that match some colors on some pattern paper, it doesn't matter what size. You're gonna need a piece of white paper, a pencil and a marker, scissors and an eraser. Now we're gonna start by drawing a leopard frog. And I have some examples of leopard frogs to show you just to give, to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Now leopard frogs are kind of cool because they blend in with their environment. So these three are the same type of frogs, but their colors change by where they're at. Like this one's in mud, so the colors are like browns and tans to blend in with the mud that it's in. This one here is in like some swampy area, so it has greens and browns and tans. This, this frog here is in some grass, so it's got browns and greens to blend in again with the grass, and that just means that it camouflages with its environment. So we're going to camouflage our frogs with the patterned paper that we choose. But we're gonna start by drawing our frog. So we're gonna start first with the shape of our frog body. So you're gonna start by drawing an oval that has a bit of a point at the end. So you're gonna draw the oval with the point, which is the kind of his tail area. So you're gonna draw a tilted oval that kind of comes to a point at the end here. Then you're gonna draw his head, which is kind of the shape of a thumb that comes out from here. Now we're gonna start first by drawing his legs. He has two sets. This back leg, all you're gonna see is kind of like an ear shape. <clears throat> but his front leg, you're gonna start by drawing a circle. It's gonna be kind of an oval shape. It's gonna go out, oval, and back in again. Then he tucks his leg in here, it tucks in here and here because he jumps off of it from this side. So you're gonna draw two lines. You're gonna have a line here, and then you're gonna have another line here because his leg goes round, back, and then back down in again. Then all you'll need to erase is this line here. This is where it's connected. This is the back part of his, his body. So you'd see that. Then for his front legs, you're gonna do an L, and then you're gonna draw the other half of his leg, the back side, an L that comes back down in here, and then you're just gonna draw his, his little pointy fingers. Now here, if you'll notice on this picture, and on this picture, if you look up close, see how you just see his little toes tucked in under that foot? All you're gonna draw is some toes that stick out from underneath his foot. And they're long, because they're kind of for jumping. So some toes that come out from underneath his foot. Now you'll erase this line because you wouldn't see it. You wouldn't see through his, his arm. And then we're going to see his eye. Now his eye here is a full circle because he's turned to the side. So you'll see this full eye here, which is a circle within a circle. 
but this eye, all you see is his eyelid. So you're just gonna see it half circle over here and you leave that line. Now, he has this line here that leads down from his head and over, that's kind of, kind of part of his, the way his body is formed. To do that, we're gonna draw a line that goes down from his eye to this line we drew that was part of his body and then we're just kind of going to go down to his tail and then you're going to make another one to kind of make it thick and then as it goes down to his tail it's kind of going to get thinner once you have that then you can erase this headline here that you don't need you just kind of needed that as a reference to where his back started if you notice on his body his spots are circle but then when you go to his legs, they become more long like stripes. So when we go to draw those, we're gonna draw more circular spots on his body. But then more linear, long, stripes that kind of go around his legs. They look like U's kind of on his legs. Now, when we go to color to make this look like it's camouflaged, what we're gonna do is we're gonna outline with the Sharpie first so you can see the details. Then you're going to choose three colors that match your page because you want them to be camouflaged. So for instance, on this piece of paper, I can choose the blue, the red, and the orange, or the blue, the red, and the green, or any combination of three with these piece, these, these colors. Or for this piece of paper, I could choose hmm, probably this just these three colors. Then you're gonna go and you're gonna color your leopard frog to match its environment so it's camouflaged. For example, I've cut out this frog and I chose to color it in these three colors so that his body is very similar to this frog here. See how I chose a darker color, the orange, for his stripes or his spots. Then I chose the lighter yellow to do his belly and the line. And then I chose the medium color, the green, to color his body. Then when I was finished, I would just glue this on the paper or I could just keep it separate if I wanted to just keep it separate from the page. I hope you enjoy this project.